let's style and set up our toolbar and navigation drawer uh, so it's a little bit different. So in our navigation, I'm just going to remove some of these here before now. We don't want to really use them and this fine. Excellent. So from list to list here, I'm just going to remove this and I'm going to create my own. Uh, so make sure you save and that it's still working. Great, great, great. This should be blank now. Super awesome. This is the drawer, the content of the drawer. Um, and this down here, I'm just going to remove some of the space because this is where we had the, uh, the color change and so on. Same with this one, we don't really need this. So it's a little bit easier to look at for me at least. Now, I'm just gonna start with my toolbar down here where we have our click open, that's great. That We wanna keep this, we don't wanna change too much here. But I wanna add a little bit more to the title here. And right now our title is just a basic title, but I wanna add a, let's go class, and I wanna use some of the set, set things from Beautify. I wanna use font weight, uh, light like this. So let's see if that does anything to our application. So now that changed the font weight, right? Great. So that's the first one here. And then I want to expand this one in here because I had in my, I had two different, one was light, one was a little bit more uh, bolder in its, um, what's it called, uh, in, the, in the font type here. So I'm just going to do a span. Ah, why won't you do it also for me? Span like so. And we have that one there, and let's end the span over here. And yes, excellent. So that's the first one we want to do, right? And this is going to be called, instead of applications, let's call it bagels or whatever you're selling. Bagels by, let's do a capital, it's better, bagels by, excellent. And then we want to have another span. Oops, do not use caps for that. Uh, span. And then in here we want to be uh, this to be shown by Jerry. Oops, let's do caps again. Jerry Mac. Oh, that's why I had the span bagel. All right. So let's do this and see what happens here. So we have this set up now, similar to what we want, right? But it's not entirely uh, what we want because it's only this part we kind of want to be the. Um, the font lightweight. So I'm just going to take my class instead of all apply to all. I only want it to apply to the span of Jerry Maguire. So we have bold text and a little bit smaller text here. Woo, that's not hard, right? Great. That's the first one. We still want to have the class of headline to attach to this one here uh, to make sure everything works as we want. Headline. And so it's just a little bit, uh, the font size is a little bit bigger here. Cool, so that's uh, the first one. That's kind of styling this one now. We can add a user, oh, sorry, buttons over here, but we will do that later. For now, let's just set up our navigations so we have some router possibilities in here, right? There we go. And in this one, I would like to add some, um, a UL, so I can kind of uh, like, uh, maybe it's old school, but I want it that way. So UL for an unordered list, I. Doing CSS, I like to style it way better than this, than other ways, uh, but most of the system is doing this. So we're gonna create some router links uh, for this. And the first one we're gonna create is just home. And then we're going to do the two, because this is kind of like the href of HTML, and this is just gonna be for the backslash. This should be home, right? If we go into our router, we can see homes path, is this one, it's just a backslash. So we know this is just enough. You don't have to type home. If you type home, it won't work actually. So this, once you click home, it's gonna go to the front page. Cool. I wanna add something new to this. I wanna add a tag here. And I want to add the tag of li. This means it's going to create a list item for me. So I don't have to create a list item around each of these uh, router links and then do the open it and end it and so on. Now the system does this for me, that's great. So let's copy this and paste this out. So we have one, two, and the other one is going to be, just to test it, it's going to be about. So make sure everything works here. So we have router link for uh, about and home. Let's save this, go to my browser, and it says home for both of those. I'm gonna change this real quick. About, and, whoops, sorry. And expand, and now you can see there's actually nothing here. Oh, it actually switches. So we can see it does something up here, but there's no switch to the actual content of the page. Why is this? This is because we haven't set up a router view yet. We still need to tell the system that if we click something, like we do now, 
we also needed to re-render the component that's being shown. And right now, this is what's being shown on every time because this is static data. So if we want to remove this, I'm just going to make this smaller again because uh, why does it have to go in several lines? People are crazy. There we go. That's much better for me. And in this one, I want to add in my router. Uh, what is it called? Router view. There we go. So we're going to set up a router view so it automatically switches whenever our navigation component up here triggers something. So let's try and click this, save, refresh, and expand again. So if I click about, we have this is the about page, and we have home. This is the home page, which is empty for now. I think there's nothing in it. So let's just type home, and woohoo, there we go. So now we set up our router view, our router links, and we can start styling and adding icons to this. So we'll just real, real quick add some icons to our navigation here. Since everything is set up for this, this should work, but who knows really. Uh, so we're gonna do a v-icon, icon like so. And in this one, since we have this set up, we're going to attach home for this. And I'm just gonna copy this and set it before the about us. And instead of about us, it's gonna call the info. I think this is the icon's name. So let's click save real quick and see how this looks. And now you can see we have uh, home and the icon. Maybe that's another one that's better, but you can see this works right now. We still need to style it so we remove all the list items, but we'll do that in the next video.